Samsung invited me to an event to cover their devices launched at Mobile World Congress, so let's take a look. So Samsung has finally updated the Tab S3, and one word to describe it is hot. Built with a glass back to unify it with its flagship line, the S3 is a stylish but fingerprint prone device. It houses a 9.7 inch AMOLED display which looks gorgeous and will be perfect for media consumption and it also packs HDR capability which I tested at the event and was blown away by the vibrant colors and deep blacks that it produced. Alongside the breathtaking display, the 4 speaker setup will also really add to the media experience. They not only sound great because they are tuned by AKG, but they also provide a stereo experience and uh, they figure out based on the orientation which side should go for the left side of the stereo, which side should go for the right. It's executed really well. Although the Tab S3 runs Android 6.0, productivity is definitely prioritized here with a keyboard available. The travel is actually surprisingly satisfying and so was the noise it produced. I definitely preferred this keyboard over the soft keys found on the iPad Pro cover, so it's definitely a job well done here. Battery life is said to be many hours, but I will need time with the device to actually get an accurate number on that. If you love the idea of a tablet, but you need a more powerful device, you are in luck as Samsung just refreshed their Galaxy Book lineup as well. It now comes in two size variations to fit your needs. I definitely prefer the 12 inch, but it's also available in a 10. The 12 inch is powered by a Core i5 processor, so it should definitely pack enough power for web browsing, media consumption, and work in the Adobe app. It still comes with the S Pen with all the same features found on the Tab 3, and it works really well for taking screenshots or uh, writing on images. The Galaxy Books are definitely made with a professional in mind, so when you purchase one, it comes with a keyboard and trackpad combo. It's the same story as the Tab 3 in terms of the feeling of it. The key travel on both models is 1.5 millimeters, which is very similar to laptops nowadays, but the 12 inch has larger keys and a wider and taller trackpad, making it easier to work with for an extended period of time. Once work is done, the screen is easy to detach and use as a tablet. It runs Windows, so it uses the Windows tablet mode, which I'm actually a fan of. I would love to see a device that runs Windows for the laptop mode and switches over to Android for tablet mode, but I don't think we'll be seeing that anytime soon. Overall, these devices hold a ton of potential um, in the 2-in-1 and tablet marketplace as they offer really vibrant screens and great keyboards and trackpads, which is something that we don't really see that often. In a world of people seeking one perfect device to get it all done, these come pretty close.